Happy Bulls is a fundraiser that we do here uh, for uh, just raising awareness of hunger within the community. And uh, what we do is we sell bowls, ceramic bowls that we make in ceramics one, two, three, and four uh, for ten dollars. And then we have a, a, a evening dinner that encompasses soup and bread and water, and the people are invited to take their bowl with them. And this is down at the soup kitchen across from Marco's? No, this is in our own cafeteria here at the Fostoria Junior Senior High School. And that will be October 17th from 5.30 to 7. Okay. Uh, we are lucky enough to have some local companies donate the soup, the bread, and the water. Uh, and that's a, a, a real blessing for us. So 100% of the money goes to the sharing kitchen here in town and Food, fa food Pantry Plus. Cool. So you already skipped past a couple of my questions. <laughs> Sorry. Um, um, is, empty, is Empty Bowls still in need of donations? They're always in need of donations. The organization actually was started by the, um, the UN because it was a worldwide organization and it was to bring awareness of the hungry people in the world for World Food Day, which is October 16th, the day before our dinner. Um, and it's been up and running that organization for years because as a studio potter when I was selling at art fairs we would go to the art fairs and donate a bowl to empty bowls which is how I became aware of it. It's a really good program though, that yes. idea. Yeah it is. Just being able to help people by making ceramics. It is. Um, and I think the kids have a good time with it. You know they're learning the basics of uh, hand building bowls so they're not required to do it on the potter's wheel uh, and, and they do have a good time with it. Something you can bond over. Yeah um, and, and you can always use them afterwards for candy, peanuts, popcorn, whatever so the glazes are food safe for people. Just don't microwave it. Uh, it tends to get hot. <laughs> How long have you been working with empty bowls? Um, I think I'm in my 11th year 10th or 11th year with Empty Bowls, I would have to, to look the record up. So I started that shortly after I was hired here in Fostoria. I didn't even know it was going on for that long. I thought it was like new. <laughs> yeah, we, we're hoping that this type of advertisement brings it more to the forefront because we've always tried to advertise. We've always had a, the newspaper has been very good about putting a, an article in. Uh, before the dinner and then again covering the dinner uh, so we're hoping that this format gets a little bit to more people and they become aware. Hope to get this out as soon as possible. Have a nice commercial so Thank everybody you. can see. I appreciate that Raven. That looks fine. Um, how many bowls do you think you've made in the past and what's your goal for this year? Well I have almost a hundred ceramic students. They're all making bowls so we have almost a hundred bowls that are going to be offered, Jeez. which ten bucks a bowl, that's the goal would be a thousand dollars. I think that's kind of setting our sights high. The average money we make is around anywhere between four and six hundred dollars. Jeez, um, still a lot. We've made four thousand six hundred and twenty seven dollars so far over the years. That's just amazing. That's all going to and people. it's all going to help. We get no profit from it. Yeah, it's great to have a charity and then you can use it as tax write-offs. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really good to know that we're helping people in the community that need the help. Oh yeah, definitely. You know. So it's great because it's a school program, so you get all those free hands. Yeah, it's their their don their um, community service project. Sweet. So what's the like inspired you to be a ceramics teacher? Um, I have always been interested in art. Um, I, I, I like two-dimensional work, but uh, when I was introduced to clay as a child, I really liked the three-dimensional and I liked the fact that clay can pick up different textures and be very, uh, it, it can give the illusion of being something that it's not. Yeah. Um, and just the processes of it. So going from being a studio potter to teaching was just like a natural for me. It just was your niche. Yeah, it's my niche. 
That's cool. <laughs> so how long have you been teaching then? Fostoria? Fostoria, I'm working in my... 12th year. 12th year, I think. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Raven. I appreciate it. Have a nice day. You too.